everyone today we're going to be using the bodice block to draft a garment top and also do a full bust adjustment for a g cup bust size so follow along as we move forward using the sew to fit bodice block so now we can do things with the computer, but I used to take the size, whatever size I was using. When I take those and I'm working with somebody, I'll just go on here and trace it. Then I take my bodice block. So if you sew for somebody, you should have already printed these out and have one for every single size. That way you don't have to trust the internet. You don't have to worry about missing anything. If it's storming outside, you can still work. Because basically, I can still do my work right now. What I would normally do, which is what I used to do all the time, is I would take this and I would just trace it. I would just trace this. So you put your pen through there. I already have this. First of all, I already know that this dart is way too long. It's too close to the uh, bus, of course, because it's sitting. It's sitting within one inch. That is not the regular bust for a person that is 18, size 18 and the bust dot is not small and is not big enough. So I look at this point here and in the first point right here, I know this is not gonna be Jennifer's size. So the first thing I'll do is do a full bust adjustment if I'm using this here. So I look at her bust mound. She might be the same width around as this pattern, but her bust size might be smaller. So this here is 12 and a half. So that's only 25 inches in the front. For somebody who is a size 18, 25 inches is probably not enough if they have a triple D. And then when you measure from the center front, this is the center front. You only have five uh, inches. The average person is six or seven inches. So I know that I will need to increase this uh, bus mound a little bit to give that amount. So I would move this over. Well, if I were doing this, I would move this over, first of all, and put it out here for a half, move it out this way. So it would go out this way, maybe an a inch. Let's just say if I did an inch, that would mean this would have to back up two inches to get that bus mount. So now this is no longer any good. Then I back this one up by two inches and move it over by an inch. So I would move this one over. So basically what I just did is I just gave this garment a not finished. I'm not finished with the full bust adjustment because I still have to take it out over there. But what if I had to take it out more than, say, for instance, uh, two sizes? You cannot go up more than two sizes. Even if you were to alter something for somebody, you can only you cannot go up more than two sizes. So we're going to do one fourth, one half, and then three fourths, and then one inch. You cannot go up one inch at all. You can only go up two sizes at a time. Okay. So this one here is small enough that that's almost irrelevant. But this right here, you can't go past that if you do a pivot and slide. Otherwise, you're going to distort the pattern altogether. So if I was to do a pivot and slide, I can go up as far as three fourths of an inch. And then once I get to that, then I need to do uh, what we call grading it out or moving the block over. So what we would do is we would take this and we would pin out pin at this corner and we would move out by three fourths of an inch. So it would go up right here. And then we draw it back to this point and bring it back in. Okay. Then we need to go here and we bring it, we got to go into this to bring it back in. So we go out to this point here. Let's uh, make sure we get our dart. So this is our dart. So we take our dart. Now we go in to this point. On this section, I'm using the side seam to readjust the comparison of the dart 
to the bottom of the side seam and to feed it back into the section where the underarm meets. It is important to get that right. And that's going to give us, so we'll just go to the middle. So our dart is going to get a little bit bigger right there. Okay. So now we can go here to this point. That's the middle of the dart. Then we could go here to this point, which is that, whoop, wrong one, my bad, which is right here. And now we come back to the side seam right there, okay? I probably was a little bit off on getting that center part. We'll go with this one. Here you can see that I am matching up the actual dart points. This dart did get a little bit larger, so when I get ready to match the dart point, I will go with the outside section to make sure that it covers that one. To the new line. So I added this section here. Okay. Do the darts a little bit better because they're not, they're not correct anymore. So I moved this one. This one is no good. So I moved this one over, which means all I'm doing is moving this over by one inch. So I'm moving this part over by one inch. So if I have this center point, center point, moving that over by one inch, that's the center. So three fourths of an inch on each side. And I'm just measuring what's already there. You need to take your block, your block and make sure you give yourself the correct curvature of this right there. And then this here needs to be lengthened because of the person's larger bust. So now you need to lengthen it. So if I lengthen this, that means she's going to need more room to come under the butt. So if I, if I did two inches for this bust, then it's going to go down. I've added this here and this here, a little bit of length. And I've added this and this and given some width, but I didn't take anything away from the shoulder. So that's Jennifer's size. So I can check it. We could do the test of her bust and I know it's six inches so we go here we did it from here so that's six inches so we come in a little bit because you got to have the middle so we got five inches there it's from the center front okay so five inches five inches keep turning five so I'll know if I need to add some more room to cover her G cup and I know already I need length. So it needs to be lengthened here. It needs to be lengthened here. And it needs to be lengthened at the waist. The reason it needs to be lengthened is in these three places is because I need to give her room for her butt. Because this here is way up here in her armpit. Our butts are not up here. So seeing that this is way up here, I need to lengthen that. So her cleavage would be right here. So when it comes out and pulls out and sticks out, then this would be... It would be up like this, which is why most people with D cups, their clothes hike up in the front. So this is how I know to just lengthen this up here first, then lengthen this section down here. That's going to go over her bust mount and then lengthen down here to get back to her weight. So I could actually add two inches down here because I know from her measurement, when you plus size anyway, that gets bigger. Your neckline gets bigger anyway. So you need to use your French curve to make sure this is straight across here. Line it up on the table if you need to and give your measurement that you need to make that neck line. There you go. Okay, so this here is no good anymore. So now the next thing we do is we need to lengthen this. Sure that I get that measurement so that I'll know if I'm doing well enough here. This is not good enough. So so I need more room for her because it's going over her bust like this. It's coming down and it's at 23. When it's flat, it needs to be at least 23. So right now I have three inches too short, right? So I'm going to do, I'm going to split these 
into that amount. So here I'll do plus one, plus one, plus one on these sections here. So I'll cut across here, lengthen across here, lengthen, which will make this dot longer. And I'll cut, well, I'll just lengthen the bottom. So, and I know I got my base right here. This is my center front. So that's my grain line spread to make the three different lengths that are addition so each length is one inch in the above the front dart below the dart and at the waist so now let's go back over here and join this section here with the with this it'll make it easier for you because you want you want this to come here because you notice she gets smaller at the waist. And don't think everything needs to be a straight line. Don't go in there and think, oh, this needs to be straight. It does not need to be straight. Humans aren't straight, okay? She's not straight, I know that. She's my child. I usually go in a little bit right here because I know how she likes to wear her clothes. See that? So that's, that's where I go for that one, okay? And I go back out. There we go. I like to move those out of the way. So now we're going to go to the top here. Now I know for a fact this has to be straight. It doesn't have to be straight here. It needs to be straight right here. Okay. Or else you're going to have something messed up. Right there. It can be round when it gets to this point, okay, but it can't be, it has to be straight up in here for it to fit into the sleeve, for the sleeve to fit in that correctly. All right, so now we have everything is still small at the top to fit her shoulders and her, and now her chest. The front fits. So retrace this. But let's go ahead and let me show you how to take your compass and let's get this bodice correct. So we say she's a G cup, all right? So now her bodice right here should be in the middle of this. So I'm going to do five inches right there, a little bit smaller. There we go, five inches, about right there. So I'm gonna put this five inches in the middle right here and then I'm going to turn it and you notice how this is lower now isn't that great it's still the same on the side because we gave it more room over there but you get it's, it's not into her waist it gives room below the waist so now that's it and let me draw that for you so this is her bust circle. So let's just say bust circle. All darts lead to Rome. All darts lead to inside the bust circle. If the dart is outside of the bust circle, the fit will be inhibited. Because why? It's just a straight line pointing somewhere, but it's not doing anything. So now we're going to finish this one off. I'm using too much tape because I'm going to recopy this, retrace this. But this is our new dart down at the bottom. And I'm not making this dart bigger because of her waist. Her waist is small. Okay. So this here is all of her waist. That's all of her dart underneath. And it's not, unless I did, I move that far enough. No, yeah, I did. Nope, I didn't. I should have moved it over even two inches. <laughs> I should have even moved it two inches. So don't worry about it. Because I'm going to show you now how to shift the dart. All right. So in order to shift this dart, this is all you do. This is how fast it is. Move it over an inch. So it'll go right under this one. There. That's all you do. What Did y'all just get whiplash? <laughs> Okay, let's make sure we're moving over exactly straight. 
Let's go right here. All right, so we're just moving over one inch. One inch. There we go, just one inch. There. Okay, so now this is in place. A brush guard is in the right place. And so now all you do, save yourself the headache and just retrace it. Save yourself the headache. Because if you have all of this going on, you're not going to understand. It's going to be too much work. You, I'm just doing rough sketch, rough. Trust me. Make sure your center front is straight. All right. And you just trace the garment. You split this difference here. And now everything is correct. Dart has been moved over, so I need to readjust the dart legs and make sure that they align with the rest and of I the garment. I made I sure to have the center points as I retrace the original pattern that I made all of the adjustments with to clean up the pattern so that it will be a nice smooth clean pattern. So this is her new and I don't need to make any changes to the sleeve with the exception of possibly changing the bicep. Okay this is her dart that's the dart this is her apex this is her bust circle Make sure to ma mark all of your additional measurements so that you will have them on your new clean working pattern because it is now the correct size as we prep to add and match the back pattern. There you go. Okay, what else do we need to write? In the front, and I know the notch is right there because it's usually three inches from there. And then this is the neck, shoulder, neckline to be square. To be square, 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 square. To be a square everywhere. Okay, now we're done. We can move the ugly one out of the way. And this is our new pattern for Jennifer's size. Okay, that is the full bust adjustment and the length adjustment to cover for the triple for the G cup. That's the G cup. Okay, so now this is going to fit nice. This is going to go over the bust like it's supposed to without hindering anything. So now I'm going to use this pattern, 740, you guys. Okay, so this is the pattern I can use for her. This is now Jennifer's block. I am not going to throw this away. Now I'm going to write on here that this is Jen, and this is 11, 17, 21, and this is Jen's block. I'm not even going to do anything to the back because her back is fine, unless she needs room underneath for the back pad which I know she does because back width armpit to armpit is 16 and three fourths. So 16 and three fourths armpit to armpit right here. That's the armpit. That's a little line. All right. So 16 and three fourths. Uh, looks like we're good. Okay. So we're good. We have room to spare. So we're good. So 16 and three fourths, we're good to go. Okay, now our last step is to go ahead, retrace the back, make sure it is lengthened to match the front, and then we are good to go to go ahead and test the pattern. I want to thank you all for following along and being part of this process. Make sure you like and subscribe for the video, and I shall see you on the other side of the internet. Bye. Bye.